content creator struggling. At the moment, no possibilities from the manufacturers. But with help from creators, Reddit and the community, we finally have a solution. Hey there, I'm Sebastian, this is Cybercast YouTube channel where we get insight and knowledge of cross reality and artificial intelligence. A warmly welcome to you, my friend, if you're new to this channel, if this is the first video you watch of Cyber Casual of me, basically. Hi, how are you doing? I'm pretty happy you found a way onto this channel. And if you're already familiar with my content, if you're a subscriber, if you're out of the inner circle or out of the Discord group, which I really like, hi. Welcome again. How are you? Before we start into the content of this video, have you seen this? Wow. Yes, this is me. I'm pretty proud to be part of the Oculus campaign, out of the Oculus commercial. I'm part of it. They choose me from, I don't know, some other content creators. I mean, there are other content creators inside the video, which is cool. And I'm pretty proud to be one of them, to be one of the family members, if you can call that. And I'm pretty happy and pretty stoked. And I really like the result. I really like this commercial. But off topic. Let's start with the video. I think I found a solution, a method, uh, whatever, of how to stream out of the Oculus Go onto YouTube, Twitch, or whatever. And I also think this method should work with the Vive Focus or the Lenovo Mirage Solo or other Autark VR devices. But I'm not sure. I haven't tried out the other bows, but it works on Oculus Go, definitely. And I didn't invent it by myself. I mean, there were other YouTubers, other Reddit users, other members from the community of the cyber casual community who helped me with this content, who helped me with this method. Most of them don't know about that, but yeah, guys, thanks, you helped me. I will talk about that later. This method works wireless without Facebook Live, without casting to a smartphone and then to a screen, without casting to some other external devices with no other external devices, just your source, for example, your laptop, computer, whatever, and your device, the Oculus Go, for example, and also with no external software. I mean, okay, we will use a shell script called screen copy, which is, yeah, with some kind of software. And yeah, but yeah, and we will use ADB, which is also some kind of a script, but it's more like a software. Okay, but yeah, the stream, of course, we will use OBS or some similar software, but that's it. No external software, except those three, maybe. Basically, this method consists of six different steps, which we need to do until the whole thing works. And I will link every step in the description with a timestamp. So if you knew how to do this, you can skip it and can jump to that point. You did not know to configure your whole live stream game. What we need to do first, register for the Oculus developer program and enable the developer mode on your device. Second, download and install ADB. Third, download and install screen copy. Four, connect your Oculus Go with the Wi-Fi through ADB. Five, run screen copy. And last but not least, number six, open your favorite streaming software, for example, OBS. At the Oculus developer side, you will find an introduction of how to create a developer organization or how to register as a developer, which is necessary to enable all these following steps. As you can see here, you can create a new organization by clicking onto that developer URL. You just need to fill out some forms and after that you get a registration email to confirm it. I'm already registered, that's the reason why it won't appear on my side. And as you can see, after that, you are able to enable the developer mode on the Oculus app, which is on your smartphone. You simply open the Oculus app, connect your device, and after clicking on it, you will find more settings. And under this option, you can enable the developer mode by simply clicking on it. Now you need to make sure to connect your device via USB cable to your computer because now we're going to install ADB. On this side, from the XDA developers, you get an instruction of how to install ADB for Windows, Mac and also for Linux. Basically, it's always the same. You just need to download a zip file, unzip it, open it in a command or terminal, 
and then type in one or two comments which are described here. On a Mac it's very easy and you just need to unzip everything, insert these ADB code and then you need to accept the USB debugging on your device. This link and all other links I will leave you in the description so you just need to click on them to install everything. After that we're going to install screen copy. You'll find a github for screen copy and you can download it by clicking here or you can install it more easily for Linux or Windows by just download the zip file and on Mac it's even simpler if you are familiar with the homebrew program. You just need to type in these commands on homebrew and then it will automatically get installed. Make sure your VR headset is still connected to your computer because we need this to run screen copy now. Open the terminal. I'm using a Mac. That's the reason why we're going to the terminal. Open the terminal and then type in adb shell ip root. This will show you your IP address and also the IP address of your device, which is this one. Remember this IP address and then type in the command adb tcpip 5555. This will enable the Wi-Fi mode for ADB. You will get no confirmation, but trust me, it works after you just have typed it in. Next step is to type in the command adb connect and then the IP address which you get from the command above. As you can see my headset is now connected via Wi-Fi and I can type in ADB devices to check which devices are connected to ADB. And as you can see this is the IP address of my VR headset and it's connected now because it says device. If it won't be connected you will get the information offline. Now you can type in screen copy scrcpy and then a B for the bitrate to set a bitrate and then the crop of your field of view and I recommend to use these settings. If you don't have a strong Wi-Fi connection you can simply type in the crop command for the window which will be used later and ignore the bitrate because then will get set automatically. After you confirm this command and the window will open from screen copy and it copies the field of view from a VR headset. Streaming now, I'm using OBS as an example. Just add a new window, name it as you want, for example, screen copy, click OK, and now you can use the screen copy window you just opened and insert it into your stream. In OBS, you now have the possibility to adjust it as you need or center it as you like and then use it, for example, for your YouTube or Twitch stream. Simple as that. As you can see, nearly no latency. It runs very smooth and you need a strong Wi-Fi connection for that so that it really works wireless. If you don't have a strong Wi-Fi connection like I have, uh, we had previous struggles with that. Remember the Twitch stream, remember the, you name it. You can also leave your device connected with the USB cable to your computer or whatever. And then it works with only one cable, which is okay. But with a strong graphic connection, it works wireless. Really cool. Yes! This is it. This simply is it. If you once have installed it, if you once have set it up, then you can easily just type in the comments into your terminal again to connect via screen copy your Oculus Go to your computer and then you can easily choose this window inside OBS or whatever or what kind of streaming software you use. But as I said in the beginning I need to thank some people because without their help I couldn't have made this possible. I've made a list and I want to read it out because I don't want to forget anyone. Tyreel Wood, Dre Orozco, Peter of OpenPC Reviews, Ramarcus, Robin Fairways, Tai Hurt. Yeah, thank all of you guys. Without you, this wouldn't be possible. I grabbed every piece of content, comment, and put it all together in this method, and hopefully it works for you. 
I'm pretty sure in the future there will be a solution from Oculus Vive and all the manufacturers to stream direct on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, whatever. I mean, there's a solution for Facebook Live, but it didn't work that well, we know about the struggle. But until then, let's use this method. It works fine and I'm pretty happy with it. I'm streaming on Twitch with this method. You can also check out my channel there. It's called Cyber Casual Twitch. Also, make sure to subscribe to this channel because I will upload more videos about virtual augmented reality, artificial intelligence and everything related. Also, there is a Discord group called Cyber Casual. I will link it in the description. You can join there if you want to chat to discuss about current situations, current things which happen in this cosmos of cross-reality and artificial intelligence and also to make arrangements together to play multiplayer online in VR, which is pretty cool. We've done this once now and we will do it a lot more in the future. So yeah, let's connect there. Let's connect on Instagram, social media, everything. You will find me, Cyber Casual is the name. I will see you guys in one of the next videos, which will be released next week. Have a nice Christmas. Have a nice time with the family and friends. Bye bye. Tschüss.